I'm Christy Rost. When you want to scare up a clever Halloween treat, have I got a trick for you, meringue ghosts. What's more, the ingredients are probably already in your pantry and fridge. With three egg whites at room temperature in an electric mixer until they're foamy. Whip them at high speed, and once they foam, add in a half teaspoon of cream of tartar and three quarters teaspoon of vanilla. Then raise the speed and whip them until soft peaks form. Once the soft peaks have formed, it's time to add in the sugar. It's one cup of granulated sugar, and I'm going to add it slowly, little at a time. Okay, so that's the last of the sugar. Now I'm going to beat these until stiff peaks form. So we'll give this a couple minutes and it'll be ready to pipe. <laughs> so once the egg whites have come to stiff peaks, then place them in a pastry bag fitted with the large round tube and then the fun begins. Now you notice that I put a little bit of the meringue underneath my parchment paper. That acts like glue and it'll hold everything down. So here we go. To pipe the ghost, start with the head and make a little triangle. Like that. Fill it in right there and then whoop on over here for the arm back, keep constant pressure on the pastry bag. There's the other arm. Come back to the middle and then swoop on down to make the body. And then fill in the body just like that. Go right back up to the triangle. We're going to make three layers. The triangle, and as you do it, you'll continue to fill in any areas that are opened. And you see, I, it's one constant motion. I never stop pressing a little bit of meringue through there. Fill in the body. And now we're going for the third and final time. There's the head. Fill that in. Out here to the arm. The other arm and the body. Fill it in. There you go. That's ghost number one. Now let's give him a little personality here. So I have little tiny mini chocolate chips. You know they all have a little tip on them kind of like when you do the swirled ice cream. I put those facing upwards because you never know what kind of personality your ghost is going to have until you put the eyes in and then turn one upside down for the mouth. So let's do one more. Here we go. This one I'll do faster. Okay, so there you go. I'm gonna finish these up. They'll bake in the oven for one hour at 225 degrees. Then shut off the heat, leave the door of the oven closed, and let them sit in the oven for another two to three hours until they're totally dry. And then they're ready. These whimsical meringos are easy to make and will delight the kid in all of us. Tuck them into individual sacks. It's a sweet way to say, Happy Halloween. Take care, stay safe, find the joy.